Welcome to the course on self-control. Everyone wants to be rich and happy. Very few want to do what it takes to be rich and happy. When you choose to watch television, play games, and have hours of mindless conversations instead of studying, doing that chore, or doing something productive, then perhaps you lack the discipline to say yes to your dreams. The discipline to do what you must do when no one is watching to get you closer to your goals can be daunting as a tween or teen. We are here to let you know today that it is possible to do what you must do when you must do it to become rich and still have a lot of fun on the way. You've got to do first things first though. Are you ready? Are you willing? Upon completion of this course, you will learn to be in control of your thoughts, your feelings and actions to do what you have to do when you have to do it all by yourself. The learning objectives for this course are to commit to managing your edge for distraction to be more productive, to develop grit and agility, to become an influencer and to cultivate good relationships. Ready to look in the mirror and say to yourself, I am proud of you. Let's get started. Lesson one, what is self-control? How often have you failed to keep that television off? How often have you told yourself to stay focused on your music lessons instead of playing games with your friends? How often have you told yourself to have better control of your phone so you can focus on your studies yet find yourself scrolling purposelessly? This means in that situation, you lost control of self. It is said that the cemetery is the richest place on the face of the planet because so many people never realized their dreams. What's your dream? The one you're uncomfortable sharing because someone will say you're crazy. What is that dream? Self-control enables the dreams you hold dear to come to being because you create, work on them, evaluate them, invest in the dreams, all in an effort to achieve your dreams. On your journey of life, you will come into contact with many roadblocks that you must overcome for you to achieve your dreams. Self-control gives you the power to be resilient and try and try and try again. You must attest to the fact that the more you want to study, the more you feel like succumbing to a distraction. Self-control enables you to ward off distractions and overcome addictions of all kinds. What at all is this caricature called self-control? Self-control is your ability to do what you know you must do instead of what you feel like doing. Self-control will enable you to keep track of your thoughts and actions and alter it to serve your good. Self-control empowers you to set standards that you live by and ultimately become the standard among your friends, even when they initially label you as boring or unfriendly or antisocial. You develop the muscles to resist the temptation for distraction. Take a moment to think through what things you find hard to resist. Is it sweets, television, mobile phone, video games, social media scrolling? Is it hanging out with bad friends, watching movies that are rated PG, talking to people mindlessly hours on end, reading storybooks instead of your textbooks? What is that thing for you? Take a snapshot of your distractions and send to at Freak on Instagram. Hashtag I'm an overcomer. Lesson number two. Why is it important to develop self-control? In a study conducted by Angela Duckworth, author and professor of psychology at the University of Pennsylvania, and Martin Seligam, an American psychologist, educator, and author, found that self-control was critical to improved grades. In 2005, they recruited a number of adolescent students at the beginning of the school year and asked them to complete measures of intelligence and self-control. Then Duckworth and Seligam waited and waited and waited and waited some more. At the end of the waiting period, 
Duckworth and Seligam collected the students' grade point averages. What they found will amaze you. What did they find? Self-control was over twice as important as intelligence in predicting end-of-year grade point average. Let us repeat that. Self-control was over twice as important as intelligence in predicting end-of-year grade point averages. That's right. Self-control outdid IQ 2 to 1 in predicting academic achievement. If you learn self-control, you can master absolutely anything. To master anything requires you to practice self-control. If you want to do well at anything, including a subject, managing your temper, cultivating good character, all requires you to learn to control yourself. I bet you're saying all right already. Show me how to develop self-control. Which brings us to lesson number three, how to develop self-control. Let us offer you six tips to develop self-control. Tip number one, give yourself permission to love yourself and prioritize your priorities. Before you go to bed and when you wake up, set an intention of what you must accomplish during the day. Make a list of all the things that could potentially prevent you from achieving them. Discover ways to overcome those distractions. Which brings us to tip number two. Cheat your temptations. Ha ha ha. Cheat your temptations. This is where your imagination comes alive. What did you find was your major distraction? For purposes of this course, let us choose the telephone. One of the easiest things you can do is switch the phone off for an hour at a time. Set an alarm to use it for five minutes as a reward if you are able to stay away for one hour. That's a good deal, isn't it? Try this daily. If this is too difficult, hand over the phone to your mom or your dad and tell them to allow you to use it for five minutes when you focus on your focus for an hour. To focus, you can tell yourself, I am happy and grateful for a telephone. I choose when to use it and when not to. Tip number three, prioritize. Do the most important things first. When faced with the choice between a house chore and friends, find a way to do both by perhaps getting your friends to help to shorten the process or simply get your chore done first. Tip number four, implement your intentions. What psychologist Peter Gulwitzer and colleagues call implementation intentions. Golwitza and Shiran, 2006. To achieve an academic goal, students might say, when I get home from class, I will read chapter five of my literature notes. This decision enables you to stay focused. Ignore your distractions until you're through with chapter five. Tip number five. Change your environment. Change your immediate environment if you find a distraction beckoning. For example, are you likely to sleep if you're learning in your room? Go to the dining area or a study room so you do not sleep. Tip number six, reward yourself. Learn to become your own cheerleader. The only reward you need to spare you on is that activity that excites you more than anything else. Write and place on your wall, I am proud of you today for staying true to your intentions. Spend five minutes on the phone or game console and return to work. Lesson number four, benefits of self-control. You will accomplish more than you ever have. You will learn to prioritize yourself. You activate your power to say yes to yourself and no to things that look exciting but steals away your future. You are happier and less stressed because you focused on your dreams and starved your distractions. Having self-control enables you to become resilient. You become fearless because you realize how intelligent you are when you focus. You stand out and become the standard amongst your friends due to your ability to resist temptations. It empowers you to become the best version of yourself daily. Yay, you did it. 
you have just exemplified self-control by completing the course on how to develop self-control. You're awesome. Share your daily intentions with us on ask at leaderfreak.org so we can be your cheerleaders too. Let us recap. Most of you wake up today and immediately flip through your phone or the computer making other people's priority yours. Before you know it, your day is over and you did very little for yourself except fueling other people's dreams. You robbed yourself of a future you dream about in the silence of your head. Self-control is the ability to regulate and alter your responses in order to avoid undesirable behaviors, increase desirable behaviors, and achieve both short and long-term goals. Research has shown that possessing self-control can be important to your overall health and well-being. When you have self-control, you have the power to manage your thoughts, your words, your actions, and feelings, which will in turn determine your destiny. To develop self-control, choose to prioritize yourself, cheat your distractions, change your environment, do the first things first, implement your intentions, reward yourself. Continue to improve your habits and routines until it becomes a habit you enjoy because the rewards are worth the energy invested. It's time for your gem step. A gem step is an assignment that influences your daily choices and draws you closer to your dream self. In your notebook, list about 20 things you wish to put into practice right away. Draw three columns in the book and label them red, yellow, and green. For your list of 20, place all the things you want to stop doing in the red column. Place all the things that you must wait in the yellow column, such as getting a boyfriend or girlfriend when you know you are only 13 years old. Hmm. Place all the things you must focus on for a better you in the green column. You know we love you and we love to hear from you. So take a moment to send us a message on any of our social media platforms or email at ask at leaderfreak.org. Thank you for spending this time with us. We appreciate you and look forward to seeing you soon on another course. Until we see you again next time, remember that we're here to cheer you on to greatness.